Good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Ravas. I'm um, following up on Mr. Bridge assembly last week about your assessments this year. Uh, assessment starts for year 10 in, th uh, in two weeks' time, and they will start in three weeks for year 7, 8, and 9. Of course, year 11 have their actual exams after Easter. Um, now, why are we talking about revision timetable? Your form tutor will have given you, at this point, a couple of uh, bits of paper, A3, quite large bits of paper. These are for you. Okay, One of them um, has got a model timetable, which you can see on the screen right now, and on the other side is what we would expect you to use as a revision timetable in school time. The other bit of paper is uh, provided for you with the exact date of the Easter holiday. Okay, so how do we organize your revision and why do we want a timetable? Uh, a timetable is very useful. It will uh, take you a little time to, to plan, to, to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to put together, which is why we want to start maybe today with your form tutor in form time. Um, but once you've done it, all you have to do is to follow it, okay? And that is it. So it's about discipline, it's about organization, and then it's about hard work, okay? Now, what is it that makes a good, successful revision timetable? First of all, routine. You need to work daily. Maybe take a day off, that's absolutely fine. Involve your family as well. This bit of paper, once you have done it, should um, feature uh, maybe in the kitchen for everyone to see so that your family can support you better. And you can see here we've got some uh, work going on every single day of the week, and we do have a day off on Sunday. That is an example which you could follow yourself. Little and often is another point which is very important. Plan 30-minute slots, possibly 40 minutes if you want, but don't spend two or three hours in a row on your, on your English, on your math, on your French. It's not going to be good for your brain. You need to do little and often and spread out the subjects as much as you can. And so we've got an example here on the timetable that was provided for you where we have maths on a Monday, maths um, again on a Thursday, and maths again here on a Saturday. And each subject on the, on the board here has been um, spread out evenly. Okay? So that's really important. Be smart about your revision. Plan specific activities um, if you can. Um, it, uh, uh, and try to remain in what we call the Goldilocks zone. You are all probably familiar with the story of Goldilocks, who uh, uh, found the porridge uh, either too hot or, or too cold, and then she found the exact right one, just right. Such is, uh, should, should be the same for your revision. It shouldn't be too hard, it shouldn't be too easy, it should be just right, which is basically you should be working uh, in what we call the struggle zone, where you struggle a little bit but not too much, and that is when you're learning the most, okay? And uh, try to have a variety of uh, activities as well to support, to support your revision. Your subject teachers will be able to help you here to... Um, to tell you which activities. But of course, we have lots of videos being made in math department, in the uh, MFL department for year sevens especially, and I'm sure in other departments to explain some particular points of uh, uh, mathematics or, um, or language. Okay, so speak to your teachers about this. We got some examples at the bottom of that model timetable here with uh, Quizlet activities, past paper questions, uh, the YouTube channels, I just mentioned that, uh, practice questions, um, etc. So be smart about this and try to plan a variety of activities as well. What's really important as well, maybe the most important thing once you've established um, a, a, a timetable of work is to switch off. It is no good to anybody to work for hours on end without any break. So again, what we've provided here is an example of a timetable uh, where you've got 30 minute slots of activities and then a break in between. In green, you can see that we've got some leisurely activities, watching TV, doing exercise, walking the dog, etc. Whatever you do at home that you usually do, what's really important here is that you work your uh, revision timetable around your daily life. In that way, you'll be able to keep doing everything that you normally do 
and work in a measured way, little and often, and switch off. Really important to spend time with your family, to switch off and have fun, whatever rocks your boat, whether it's playing your instrument, doing sports, going outside, walking the dog, playing video games. It's really important to keep that in mind and uh, do plenty of uh, physical activities as well if you are into this. Needless to say, a good night's sleep is, makes the whole difference as well. Now, we've provided for you the other timetable for uh, the Easter holiday. Obviously, you don't have the school day there, uh, but this one is there for you to use as well. Now, some of you might think, I don't want to do that on paper. I think it's much better online. Uh, you might be right. Maybe it's better for you online. You can use a computer uh, to set up a Google Calendar and do exactly the same thing. What we want is for people to be organized, is to, for people to organize their revisions, okay? Whether it's online or on paper, whatever rocks your boat here as well, okay? The advantage of an online calendar is that once you've set it up online, maybe on a computer, because it's a bit easier, it uh, synchronizes with your phone and you can put alerts and then, you know, because you, lots of you have their phone on them, on them all the time, uh, that can be a very good way for you to be uh, on track at all times. Okay, so consider that. All right. So, um, it's your turn now. You've got uh, hopefully about 10 minutes left in this uh, form time to uh, get started on this. I'd like all tutors to uh, encourage students to uh, start uh, their next day of revision, which could be tomorrow, possibly, especially for year 10, because you have an exam in two weeks. Okay. And uh, start seeing uh, uh, yeah, uh, how you can organize that. That would be great. And again, you can use, uh, when you're at home or later on, you can use your phone possibly to organize that on e, uh, an e-calendar on Google as well. Okay. Thank you very much, and good luck, everyone. You'll be great. Please try to do this. Thank you very much.